Okay, we're gonna do part two of this. So we're gonna create a templating engine so you can like actually serve web pages. So let's get started. Directory uh, template CD is a template. Okay, we're gonna install Express. Touch. Yes. 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 First of all, um, let's grab that. I should just grab. We can grab the same thing. If you want. And we're not gonna use this. So next, we're going to create a directory called views, and we're going to touch views index.ejs, cool, alright, so we're not going to use this, we're going to use render, render, and this is going to be index.ejs. And that will be the home page. We'll go to news. We're going to do actually HTML in here. Hello world. Control S. And we're going to CD out of here. Because it has to be the working directory with the app to run the server. Node app.js. Error. I don't think there should be an issue. No. Oh wait. Should be a template for this, my bad. So close that out. Um go preview. And yeah, it works. Lovely. Um, so next we're gonna create one that actually grabs a variable so it's gonna be like create another route that actually is like has like called get we'll call this guy get and we're gonna call ID. And what else we're gonna do? Num. And it's gonna be ID. And then we're gonna var ID request params dot ID. Hmm. That's what happened. And then we're going to 
actually see out of this. We're gonna touch views get that UJS Put this guy up here. So we're gonna percent equal and then we're gonna try to get the ID here. We're gonna do H H one H one H one I there and see if that works. We can just get one slash get. Does it work? There's an error. No. Oh, I didn't really do modi mod. So we up. Cool. Oops. Who's getting it? Um, let's wrap this up in H one. So you see the numbers. So this is a templating engine. The most important thing is to there are the views. That's the views, and then these are the routes. So views are like dummy templates. They don't store any data. They just supposed to look like nothing, like like HTML. It's supposed to be stored in here. And after that, you can like create partials and impartials. You can learn more about EJS. Here, you learn more about the engine here. Here, documentation. She's not that good. It's like um, the PHP question mark kind of a thing. Cause it's it's like embedded JavaScript. Need actually the Google. Partials. URL template. Oh, I'm using crap. Okay. Stop that page. Yes. Oh, it's oh, right here. Just click getting started. Don't want to touch that. And you can like look at it. Grand template, helpers, Winty VJS. There's like other templates too, like Jade. I'll do it after Jade this time. But yeah, alright. So, this is what I want to show you. Ah, oh, yeah. So, my app works. Great. Okay. So, if you're a little lost, don't worry. It's it's like the MVC kind of a format for all programming. It's to like separate all the files into other files. So this the entire entire script doesn't get long, so it becomes more manageable. So it's like model views whatever kind of a thing. Um, this is more back end because you're creating like a server and like a API kind of a thing. Express mode. I haven't put Angular in yet. I probably can, but I don't want to do a full mean stack. But you could know if we like a mean stack, I'll probably get in the future. So I would just start with Node and Express for now. 
um, that's my tutorial. I hope you learned something. Sorry, I explained well. But I just show you how to install a templating engine. I showed you how to what else? Use Node mod off, and there's your script again. Remember, these two are in there. The views, because it's the view. And if you're lost, yeah, it's pretty advanced. You eventually get it. Watching tutorials and watching live.